साइंटिस्ट रियली द सेक्सियस जॉब ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी हाई एवरी वन माई नेम इज मानव वेलकम टू एपिसोड एटीन ऑफ डेटा साइंस एंड ए आई वीकली डेटा साइंस एंड ए आई वीकली इज आर पॉडकास्ट सीरीज इन विच आई कवर एवरी थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो अबाउट बिकमिंग अ टॉप नॉच डेटा साइंटिस्ट आई कवर ऑल द टॉपिक्स दैट यू वुड वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल सो फार जस्ट सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफिकेशन एंड यू नेवर मिस ऑन द नेक्स्ट पॉडकास्ट वेन दैट इज गेटिंग रिलीज सो लेट स्टार्ट विद एपिसोड एटीन इज डेटा साइंटिस्ट एक्चुअली द सेक्सियस जॉब ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स लुक एट हाउ डिड दिस एंटायर टर्म कम इन टू पिक्चर राइट सो वेर डिड दिस टर्म कम फ्रॉम दैट डेटा साइंटिस्ट इज द सेक्सियस जॉब ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी सो दिस एक्चुअली अपियर फर्स्ट इन हावर्ड बिजनेस रिव्यू इन द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व लॉन्ग टाइम बैक ऑलमोस्ट सेवन एट ईयर्स बैक एंड दिस आर्टिकल वॉज टाइटल डेटा साइंटिस्ट साइंटिस्ट colon the sexiest job of the 21st century and it was authored by two very famous people in the space thomas devonport and uh, dj patel a uh, dj patel as some of you would know he was the formerly uh, he was the chief data scientist of the united states so they had released this article and since then the term caught on and this tagline became famous and uh, like with every field once something becomes famous then that it just carries on with that particular field and similarly it has happened with data science as well so the simple answer to the question is is data scientist the sexiest job of the 21st century yes and no right so the answer is yes and no now first of all why no right so first of all it is data scientists don't look sexy right so that's of course is goes without saying and the sexiest job why it is not such a sexy job why uh, as the media would tell you is because yes from the outside data scientists do a lot of lot of impactful work right for example when you look at uh, one of the biggest technology platform products that we use in our daily life let's say facebook uh, let's say pinterest let's say netflix all of these use data science in a big way right so the work that you are doing is impactful but the problem at the end is that a lot of the time as a data scientist you do not necessarily know which part of data science are you actually working upon right so it's not that you are building machine learning all the time right so possibly you you might spend as a data scientist a lot of your time in data cleaning as well right so since this job itself the definition of the job itself and what you would be doing differs so much from companies to companies for example i have seen data scientists working data scientists working in top product companies who don't write a lot of code right so they are primarily focusing on problem formulations right so essentially the role in itself differs so much that it might or might not be sexy when you'll actually get down to that particular role so a lot of the sexiness is role dependent dependent uh, on the kind of company that you join depending on the kind of problem statements that you are working on so this was why it is not sexy now the other side of the coin is the reason it is sexy is because of three reasons and why it has been called the sexiest job of the 21st century is the most important thing as i said about this field is that it lets you work on some amazing problems no other field will give you problem statements that like the way you would get in data science so you get to work on very exciting problem statements a b is this is a field that unlike a lot of other fields wherein you are doing the same kind of work every day this is a field wherein in morning you'll be doing something else in afternoon you'll be doing something else uh, and in evening you'll be doing something else and on a weekly basis also you might be for example say interacting with the stakeholders you might be working on machine learning you might be coordinating with the product team and you might be putting your machine learning model in production so you are working on a gamut of things which keeps you going which keeps you your interest alive in this field and that's why this is sexy so first reason for sexiness is the impactful work and exciting work that you do second is the number of things that you do which which keeps uh, your spark alive 
And the third reason is obviously the uh, paycheck, right? So this is one of the best paid jobs right now in the world. And that's why a lot of, lot of people are attracted towards data science as a role. A lot of them are attracted, in fact, uh, from what I've seen is not because of the kind of work, but because of the salaries available in this space. So salaries are obviously very high. And in fact, the growth options are also tremendous. So. If you are a freshly minted data scientist in Silicon Valley right now, you might start like at the salary of a software engineer, regular software engineer, and you might get paid well enough. But within one or two years or three years, if you become really good, because the competition is very less as compared to software engineering jobs, and because companies are looking across industry to hire for data scientists, within one year, you might become a senior data scientist. And for all you know, within two, three years, you might become a head of data science uh, for a company as well. So a lot of this is totally dependent on you. So if you, so if you are really good, you can actually climb the corporate ladder very, very fast through data science. So all of these are the sexy part of data science. So my goal through this episode was to tell you both the sides of the coin, why it is not so sexy and why it is sexy. This was episode 18 of Data Science and AI Weekly. I hope you would have gotten a much better perspective about is data science really the sexiest job of the 21st century? I certainly think so. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. And if you've been learning data science so far, let me know how your journey has been so far as well. This is Manav. I'm signing off from this episode. Tune in to another episode of Data Science and AI Weekly, which is going to be episode number 19. And I look forward to seeing your comments about this video in the comment section. Thank you very much and to another episode soon.